which which side of this rivalry did you grow up on? Uh, I grew up on our side, UCLA. Okay. Know? But my family, they like they like uh, SC. So, but I'm here now, so we all we all switched <laughs> over. So you you act you actually went against your family growing up, and you were rooting for UCLA? Yeah, like my family, we all like different things. Like I'm a Chargers fan. Like my brother likes the Falcons. Like we're all we all like different stuff. We're not we weren't really too picky. Enough. What what did you like about UCLA? I just I really just chose one growing up. I didn't really have like a particular thing I really like. Well, Mark, how excited are you to, to be a part of this this week? I was really excited because you know you get to have uh, you get to boast about it for a year. Whoever just wins owns LA, so I'm really excited about it. We got a chance to to prove to ourselves, not really everyone else, because we've been, we've been putting in work. So just prove to ourselves that all the hard work is going to pay off. In your first year at the uh, Division One level, it's almost over now. What, looking back at the games that you've played, what's been the most exciting parts, the most challenging parts uh, of your first season? Most exciting parts is just um, when our defense really thrived, like running to the ball really was exciting because we play as a unit, like we're really hard to beat. And most like probably disappointing parts for me is just missing some tackles and uh, not doing my assignments all the time. So that's probably disappointing, but. It was, it was pretty, I'd say give myself like a decent season. I got a lot to work on coming into these last couple of games. What did you think of uh, Jay Smalley coming in there as a walk-on, making a, a tackle for loss the other, the other game? <laughs> no, I was talking to him about that uh, yesterday. I, I was really happy for him because he worked his butt off. He was going back and forth from scouts, back with us. Like He even came the inside linebacker. Like, he just been going all around and really working hard, so I was proud of him. Is that cool to see as like a, you know, kind of an undersized walk-on guy come in and, and like that. No, it's really cool because, like, but with here, just really, if you if you run hard to the ball and you're gonna earn a, a spot on the field, it's not like really, oh, he's a five star, this star. That doesn't matter. If you work hard, you have the opportunity. Has playing for for Coach Kelly been everything you thought it would be? Yeah, uh, yeah. He's a he's real he's real business side of football. So it's like do your job on the books, football. So it's like it's what I thought it would be more so a business. Like, how it is now growing up. What did you imagine in, or these rivalry games being like when you were young? Did you always imagine that you could get a chance to play in one of these games, UCLA, USC? Always, uh, always wanted to growing up, but yeah, it, I know it's pretty, it's pretty heated, but we gotta keep our cool, just go out there and execute. Do you remember any specific games that, that you might have watched or, or plays or just games in general? Um, not really. What have some of the other guys told you about playing in this rivalry game specifically? Some of the guys who've played in them before? We haven't really talked about it. We just talk about just executing this week. We haven't really spoke about the past. Just trying to execute and come out victorious. Has there been a difference this week in in the attitude of the team, a little more fired up due to the rivalry game? I feel like we take the same approach every week, but I can see a little more pep in our step of practice. We're getting a little more fired up. But we, we take the same. We try to take the same approach every week. But I can see a little more like extra juice at practice.